Good, good morning, afternoon, or evening, everyone. Good morning. Hello. How about Hello, that? Hello, everybody. Yes. Welcome to the Mike and Andre show. And to, today we have a great guest. Well, who's you? Who are you? Uh, Am I Mike? Are you Andre? I'm Mike. I'm Michael Nathan, comedian, and this is my beautiful co-host. I'm Andre. Hi, everybody. Yes, yes. We are so excited today. You know what, Mike? Somebody told me to tell you hello. I think this guy said he taught you everything you knew. And he oh, wanted wow. me to make sure he put his picture up here. Put you see up. a picture there with a, it says Deacon and Mike or something like that? Deacon he told me to make sure that I um, send you uh, 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 a hello, a hearty hello, uh -huh. and to tell you, uh -huh, it says Rev Deacon Mike. It's the last email I think he sent you. But he said something about... he said he about, taught me everything I know, He right? said he taught right. you everything you know. You wouldn't have never been a comedian without him. Without this guy here. Without this guy there here. That's him. There he is. And he said, oh, I taught you. Oh, the Reverend Deacon Doctor. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There he is. Yes. He said to tell you hello, and right. he taught you everything. Can you bring him on the show? He I coming on the show. He coming. He said he coming. Actually, he's working on a new sitcom. Okay. Called The Deacon uh, Robinson and the Kids. Oh, wow. So um, he's working on a new like 15 minutes uh, YouTube sitcom and uh, and I'm excited about him. We we got to bring the Deacon on, man. I, I, have I such know. A, when I he know. comes to the shows, whenever the Deacon shows up at the shows, the ladies know love it's gonna him. Be. The, ladies the ladies love, love the Deacon. I'm telling you, the ladies love the, the Deacon. The Deacon works the room. Yeah. And you know, he's a celebrity in his own right. Yeah. I promise you. Yeah. <laughs> but today we have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful guest. We do indeed. Um, I, I'm so excited um, that he availed himself because of all the things that he's doing in the uh, in our area, the DMV area and abroad. I mean, just so much that he's doing that he found time. And I don't find it robbery that he even came out this early in the morning or our time. Because I know right. those of you in Paris, it's 5 o'clock, Sierra Leone, it's 3 o'clock, uh, Uganda, it's 4 o'clock, all of that. Right. All of our viewers, we thank you all for watching so us. Much. And we'll, our, our, our goal is to connect the communities with the countries because we want to do worldwide things, not just here Absolutely. where we live, but we want to touch the lives of so many people. And we thank God for social media right. and what's happening now because we're able to touch you because of that. Right. But this person is a, a director. I follow him. Um, he just never ceases to amaze me with the different type of work that he does. Multi-award winning, not just one award, but he's a multi-award winning screenwriter, multi-award winning director and producer. And I'm just happy to actually be able to sit Humble. down and, and just, I'm humbly elated. Humble. To, to just be able to sit down and hear his story, just about from where he came from to where he is. Where he is and now, I know, where he's going. Yeah, and where he's going. And, and, you know, if I could be Talk put in the luggage. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, I don't have to be. <laughs> a stowaway on my. You know, yeah, in the stowaway. These I can excursions. Get luggage. You can say, my pet is in here. Well, you know, I have an adult pet. They're in the luggage, okay? Well, you know but, what, Andre? I wanted to. You made a point about connecting the communities with countries. And I don't think that everybody necessarily gets that off the break. Um, connecting the communities with the countries is, is something that you should be taking advantage of here at the Mike and Andre show. Mm -hmm. You have an, a unique opportunity to be able to speak for, to someone, you know, all the way across the world or get mm -hmm. to know someone or sell someone on your idea all the way across the world when normally you would only have this small pool of people. Understand mm -hmm. what that means, okay? Mm -hmm. That means that you can, you can, Get outside your box. Get mm -hmm. outside your immediate group. Mm -hmm. What where you think you're stuck at, you're not. There are more people who think exactly like you than you Correct. know, and you need to reach out to them. And that's what we're trying to do. That's and not only that, our guest has his own monthly TV show with over okay. two hundred and fifty thousand viewers. Okay. Oh wow. I mean. Okay. So you so. you have to understand that when we're connecting, that's exactly what we're doing. We want to connect. Um, and put you in touch with people who we may not have that. You know, when you when you feel like you have the answers to everything, wrong wrong attitude. Right. But we want to make sure that we when we bring people on here as our special guests, that there's something that you could take away from. And even me as a, a, a actor and a director and a writer myself, I watch him. And you know, I'm I'm one of those trolls. I mean, I watch and because action speaks louder than words for me. Right. And I like to see what you're doing. And I am one of his most humble fans just to watch 
the the transition and watch the new movies and watch the um you know casting calls and see what they're doing. Right. I love things like that because when you grew up and you and for me, uh, arts was a way to get rid of trauma. I dealt right. with a lot of childhood trauma, so I needed arts. And so we need people like Kazar. We need people like uh, uh, some of you that are singing and directing and writing. We need you because you help us overcome a lot of the things that we dealt with. So don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. Don't do we it. We'll be back. right back. Oh, don't forget, we got a hundred dollars of Mike's money. My money is on the table here. Mike's now, money now, is I see, on the I got table. Some, I got some people here watching. About five people right now. They're watching. And I want. So we're choosing caller number seven. Seven. Caller number seven today. To win a hundred dollars so now. Colin, this win this is the bucks. problem. And I did this on purpose. My nails have not been done in like a week and right. a half. Okay. And so when you don't win the money, I can't get the money. So I become offended. Okay. You see that look on my face? I become offended. Right. Because I could use Mike's money. I could use Mike's money. Okay, too, so know? somebody so needs to win that money. Somebody needs to win the money. Then maybe you could take me to my nails, but I don't know. I, just ah, I, I think money, I, one of these listeners, they don't need the money. They can just <laughs> win it. And then we, come back and take you to the nail shop. Yeah, come I on. think so. Yes. All right? So don't touch that dial. We'll be right back with our very only uh, infamous Kezar Coleman, and we're going to hear his story, hear everything he's doing. I am so, so super duper excited. Don't yes, touch yes. that dial. We'll be right back. A celebration, 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 Everybody to the Mike and Andre show. Bad. I am so honored. I, I'm very, very honored to have Kazar Coleman with us today. And um, he's again, he's a director, uh, a film uh, producer, award-winning film producer who has several movies out there. Um, has been nominated on several occasions and has his own TV show. And he interviews so many people. And I was just told that we're like his first. In this is his first interview. Wow. His first one, brother. Wow, I'm, I'm we're honored. honored. I'm humble, man. Trust me. Yes, I'm because um, I, I watch him, and he interviews so many people. And so we're so grateful at the Mike and Andre show to have you definitely, here on definitely. our platform. Well, thank yes. you for allowing me to be here. So, Mike, I'm going to pass it over to you. If you have some questions you want to ask to start out with. Explain. Because <laughs> Mike for a man is as successful as yourself, right? Uh, a, lot of people, a lot of people ask, or will they want... A, 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 a hard-working man like you, women, every, you know, they want to, you know, they want to have you in their life. But tell me how you manage your days. How do you structure your life so that it's workable for you, so that it doesn't interfere with your personal life? Do you have a personal life? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Um, I started my day off on my knees. 
Mm. Okay, start always, the day with prayer. Always. Good. Always. Excellent. Excellent. I said everything I do around, around what I'm called to do. Wow. Okay. I, do. Um, I work like everybody else, mm-hmm. but, you know, a lot of folks say, I don't, how can you find time for certain things? Mm-hmm. You make time. Mm-hmm. You, you make, make the time. time. If it's something that you want to do, you go after it and you make time. Mm-hmm. I see. You know, and I respect folks like that. Right. Wow. Wow. So tell us about the, the Kazar, the child. I mean, you're, it's, it's evident that you have a heart for the arts, right? I, I fix my wig. Wait a minute, y'all. Hold up. I, I didn't know, know I would my... just mine. Yeah. I have a wig. I just I have because, you know, my fans be like, work. my hair is like my, my, my conversation pieces. But anyway, um, so Kazar, are the, the child. I mean, before you got to where you are, did you have like a troubled childhood? Did you go through some things? How was your home life growing up? Things of that nature. Tell us about you before you got to here. Hmm. Take us on a journey. Take you on a journey. All right. Well, my journey is I started with a very strong family. You know, we all have issues in our families, but my family to this day remains faithful. Wow. You know, okay. and continuous. We always reach out to one another every single week. And, and what part of the family is that? Is that your immediate or is that your extended family? That's my immediate family. Like, you know, I got so many cousins and uncles and all that. Uh-huh. But I can't keep. But something. just like me, you know, I, I over the years you yeah. lose a little touch. But were you able to keep in contact with your further away social cousins? media? Brother. Social media. Social media. Thank social God media. for social media, right? I'm I'm I, the only I'm thing I have, a, the problem I had uh-huh. with social media is Ray Ray died, hmm. and you don't know about it. Oh, it was on Facebook. It was on social. <laughs> it was, no, don't do that. Oh wow! You call me and tell me what happened to Ray Ray. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah, I don't like that. When or, or got I think or that Ray got married. You, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry, Andre, but you want to know what? I think that's out the door with memorizing all the numbers that you 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 know. You remember that? Yeah, remember you have to have you a had to year. remember all the numbers all and the addresses numbers and, and addresses. how addresses. to get there. Yeah, yeah, that's no out more. the window. Unless with somebody's that, so. phone get cut off or phone, I, I left my, I, I, I couldn't call you because I ain't had my phone. <laughs> uh, what? For sure, you so can't do anything. I was always anything. a quiet man. You know, I was, I was somewhere. I started off. Big guy like you, quiet, huh? Okay. Started off. Some, bo- some brought him out the shell. Okay. Let's get to the show. Okay. All right, so I started, you know, gifted with the ability to draw. Okay, so I was okay. always drawing and doing cartoons or something. That was my mm-hmm. art. Okay. You know, so I've always been involved in some form of the... The arts. The arts, yeah. Mm-hmm. As always. So right. then I did a little bit of the piano, um, right. guitar. But when I turned... Okay, so I kind of got bullied a little bit. Wow. wow. I got That's... a little bigger. I got bullied a little bit. Um, wow. Probably when I was 15, I got into uh, amateur bodybuilding. Wow. So I was a big guy, um, 200 some pounds of muscle, and I'm competing... And it gave you know it gave me an opportunity to refocus, okay. you know, to get into things and to get out there on stage. So that took the the shyness out of me, in right? A sense. Okay. Right, made you reach out. Well, reach out, yeah. yeah. So you know, I go from there, and then I get into um, fashion shows. Uh, one of my sisters had a um, uh, fashion fa- uh, model fashion in, uh, production. Oh wow! So she would uh, periodically bring me out there and do different things, exhibition poses. And we all love dancing, so we started out on the television dance show back in the Soul Train Dance Connection days. Oh, right, yeah. Right, right here at Howard University. Oh, yeah. Right? right? So I was doing the moonwalk and all that. Stop stuff, it, man. But I still got my skills. So. Oh, you got the moonwalk? <laughs> ah, the moon man. Y'all, y'all remember the moon man hustle? The moon Would you mind uh, doing a few of your dance moves that's today? Not, oh, <laughs> see. <laughs> see. See, I knew Mike was going to try. I knew. Would you but, mind doing a few of your dance moves today? You're not today? doing it, Mike. I won't get it to see. Okay. Because right, I ain't about to drop no notes on you. <laughs> but I did move okay. into that um, after a while. Um, it was, you know, so my thing was, uh, as I began to focus on things that was helping me become more comfortable with me. Mm-hmm. You know, because I, like I said, I was, you know, I had a family. I had everybody was close. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you have your own struggles. Right. So I had my struggles and I learned to deal with them. Best way I knew how. I think I got into... Um, all right, so get into this thing and get into the ministry. Mm-hmm. Right, so everything is kind of like a form of ministry. Mm-hmm. Even right. when I'm doing a horror movie, I'm scaring the hell out of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I had no idea I guess <laughs> we'll be coming with jokes. Do not, <laughs> do not upstage But he me. does have horror movies. Zeke is, tell me this. Now, I don't tell Zeke jokes. Zeke a horror huh? movie? Zeke is not a horror movie. Zeke I is saw something with based a- off of Ezekiel. Oh, okay. Right? okay. But it's uh, it's a uh, end time events day. So oh, we okay. haven't had any movies, any independent movies in the area 
where you have like rapture, you had a sky falling and all that. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's what Zeke is going to be. Wow. All right. So I'm going to need some special effects and that kind of thing, and uh, I'll work it out. Okay. Then after that, I have a scary film called um, It Lives. Yeah. I, saw, it lives. Yeah, I think we saw that. Yeah, one the, the lady coming out the window. Out the out the one, yeah. That's Bloody Mary. So you know, oh, you, you've heard of the Bloody oh, wow. Mary. Bloody Mary to drink. When I, no. <laughs> when I was a kid, you were supposed to go in the bathroom. Turn the light off, right? Yep. Close the door. Uh, what was it with the mirror? Look in the you, mirror. You look in the mirror, you, you whisper... Bloody, Bloody Mary. Mary. Three times. Three times. Oh, and see, she was supposed to appear supposed behind to you, right? Yeah. See, that's see? some freaky stuff. So that, you didn't know about that? I, I don't do that. I don't do the scary. Thing, yeah. The thing about that is I never did that, that was based off of an actual young lady in England, right, that they assumed that she was a witch. Okay. Mm. So they burned her at a stake. Right. right. So she had a little story and all that. And the mirror just came became part of the folktale. Okay. So right. we're going to scare some people. It's going to be paranormal, and I'm not going to like it because I'm going to have to write it. Right. And I'm going to have to experience some stuff. So I kind of like, don't like to expose myself for too much right. of that stuff. But, right. you know, it is what it is. But so um, as far as the acting, so I didn't act because I couldn't remember memorize the scripts. <laughs> really? <laughs> I didn't want to have to figure out how to, how to memorize those lines, man. That's why I write my own stuff today. Because I'm not sure if up. everybody truly memorizes the hey. line. They remember some lines, but I think they they're fed. They could they be they right. Yeah, and some people do what they I call mean, they improv. Do. Yeah, they yeah. improv. They could do that. How, well, speaking of acting, um, when you write your scripts and and get prepared for casting and things like that, um, what are the, some of the things that you look for in an actor or an actress? So you know. I, I, I talk to them a lot, especially on the show. You know, I, I focus mm-hmm. on. It's not so much um, that I've worked with you for a period of time, because right. I mean, you may have worked with me on all my pro, uh, all my productions, right? But I'm looking for believability. Yes. Like you have to. All right. Re- do you need research. them to sell it? Do do your research. I mean, you right, need I'm them not, to sell. I'm, it. I'm not making this for a hobby. <coughs> I'm making this to sell, to sell, mm-hmm. right? And if it doesn't improve. Imp- it's selling the movie. It's also identifying with someone that's dealing with the situation mm-hmm. that you're supposedly portraying. Sure. And if it's that realistic, they're going to know it just like that. Mm-hmm. Just like right? that. So um, I'll give you an example. So I had a guy that, he was a police detective, retired. So he knew how to do interrogation things. Mm-hmm. But he was being him, his acting. So sometimes. We don't want you to I, act. Yeah, I mean, they get into what's comfortable for them, right? And they. Uh, when they're working with different different production companies, they don't know because they haven't seen them work on a lot of different projects to know what's comfortable when they're not right. they pushing past that. Mm-hmm. And I want them to push past it, and I want right. push them. Right, right, right. So we're doing this interrogation scene, and he's like being too nice. I need you. Where were you here? I'm like, I don't uh-uh. want that. That's okay. Let me be perfect. Right. So I start and I start pushing him. I had him so ticked off. He was trying to come across the table. I said, "That's what I'm looking for. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I right. want I want the energy. Yes, I don't yes. want something right. that's rehearsed and sound like you're just doing. Yes, it. and sound right. like you're reading lines. So right. that's yeah. what I'm looking for. Okay, all right. So um, an- another question is, you said that you were shy as a kid, so acting in in the arts actually helped you out. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, I, I did some stage plays, and uh, you know they're funny. You can't. You can't um, you can't come go back and edit that. No, you stuff cannot. Happens, happens. No, right. I but started out the stage. I've always gotten type typecast because of the weightlifting and all that. Typecast as being a cop, a bouncer, or something like that. So it was okay. easy to do what I was already had been doing in the past. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, but as far as the acting and stuff, I got into acting as a background actor. Mm-hmm. Right? I was just looking for something extra to do. And this came in 2009 after I got divorced, mm-hmm. which was a tough time. Okay. In fact, as a matter of fact, this week was the anniversary for that. Wow. Right? Over 10 okay. years ago, right? 11 years ago, right? So, you know, you come through that and you're like, okay, what the hell am I going to do? You know, right? Wow. So, I didn't know because, you know, everything was based off of supporting the family, making sure that the family had what they needed. Right. It was never about me. Right, mm-hmm. so I had to I had to figure out who I was, you okay. know what was important to me. Wow. So I got into acting just to do something extra, and I loved it. Right, worked with everybody in the area and outside of the area. Got an agent, worked on some projects. What I found was some of the production companies <laughs> um, 
they didn't put it out there like a, like they should. Mm-hmm. You know, you're talking about you wanting to ex- put out quality. Wow. Right? Mm-hmm. And you want to be in Hollywood where you have to represent yourself like Hollywood. That's right. You right. have to put, your, you put stuff out there that somebody's going to want to watch. For sure. All right? And everybody have their first and their second time where you have glitches. And you fix those glitches, and then you go right. back and you put it out there again. That you know, right. and I'm glad you said that because a lot of times, like for me, um, as a writer, I'm, I started out on stage. I started out writing plays, mm-hmm. and acting came into play for me when it was too late for me to recast when somebody bailed out. So I actually had to do the, per, you know, do the role. Now, um, what I found out was TV and stage were two different ball games. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. So let's talk about that real quick. Yeah. And do so, that. So there's a transition. <laughs> I can identify a stage actor and a screen actor. Uh-huh. It's easy, right? Okay. Every, uh, Share that with us. Because is it does it is it surrounded around the believability part? Mm-mm. Because I That's have surrounded about the over emphasis. Over emphasis. Over emphasis. Stage is they like, got to range people all the way in the back because they got to hear them, right? Yeah, right. That's the way that dog on microphone to work. Yeah, that's it's, true. Yeah, stage, you, you got to give it to them right there. See this. Right. Stage is um, right. telling yes. and see and and film is showing. Yep, film is all about expression. Expression and timing. yeah, beats. So stage you, is uh, so so. All right, so right, we're gonna do a little bit right now. All right, so we're gonna do something where I. Right, you're trying to tell me that you're going to break up with me, okay. all right? And you figure out, we're going to improvise. Okay. And you show me, I mean, we're going to do both sides. We're okay. going to do stage version, we're going to do film version. Okay. All right. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Let, let's set this up. Wait, wait, wait. Now, let me ask you this. Right. Who are you as you're going in this? You're about to break up. Are, are you Ray Ray? Too. Are you the weed I'm man? Kiki. And you, yes, you know, <laughs> From the hood? Or are you, you know, who you are I'm now? Kiki CEO Ray Ray. breaking up? <laughs> Because there's two different kind of break yeah, up. Ray yeah, Ray yeah, break yeah, up yeah, different yeah, now. Yeah, Come yeah. on. All right, so let me see. Um, all right, CEO uh, break up, you know, he uh, give you a card, he give you roses, and tell you that. So I'm trying to see how I want to do this. All right. All right. Stage is tell it all. All right, I'm going to get him. You get him. I'm going to look at him. Get okay, up. all right. All right. Give it to him. Yes. So what are you trying to say? I mean, I, I don't get. I, listen, I buy you all the clothes that you have. What else do you want from me? I said I want some time. Look, I, look I, I, watch your tone. Hmm. Watch your tone. Okay. Now, all right, now let's change that around. All right. Okay. <laughs> that was stage. All right. That's yeah. stage. All right. All right. Now, then we, we, we getting ready to get Ray Ray? Um, <laughs> no, this, that was stage this, Ray Ray. This okay. Is, this is emotions now. It's okay. Still, it's like, kind it's of the same character, but, mm-hmm. but different. And okay. You, now, you, see, can be the, you can be the approacher. Okay. Right. What does that mean? I mean, don't, don't don't I give you what you what you want? What else can I do? Talk to me. Okay, okay. What do you need? A week? A month? So, you know, you know get it. I'm trying. I'm, I'm really trying. I'm really, really, really trying. I see. <laughs> so it's two different extremes, right? <laughs> I see. I see. Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I get in on that? <laughs> this is exciting. Oh, we got something. We got something. Oh, that was. Thank you. I don't know if people out there can feel that, but I, I, Ariel is a writer and producer and actress as well, and we've been together on TV One, and it's one of my favorite sisters in the arts, and she's like, yes, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, stage, you got to give everything, and, TV, and that's what I learned, because when I was on TV, they was like, you ain't got to do it like that. I was like, oh, okay, um, so what? They was like, bring it back. And they told me to study, uh, uh, they, they gave me, um, what's her name? Uh, Viola Davis. They said mm-hmm. they, Viola, they mm-hmm. wanted me to study Viola Davis because okay. Viola Davis was from stage. Yeah. And so she had to transition. And so I watched her in Fences a lot. Yeah. And so I started learning and patterning what I do from her. Yeah. And um, and that's worked for me when it came to film because I had no idea. It was like I was going to give you Andre, everything. Andre, yeah, yeah. Can, I, can, I, can I do one with you? You're the boyfriend. I mean, you're the, I'm, I'm, I'm you're the boyfriend. You're the new boyfriend. Okay. That's just just showing up and oh, oh I'm the new dude. You're, you're the new dude. dude. Oh, okay. You're the one I, I left him for. <laughs> All right. Ah, I you're, my, you're my ah. you're my replacement. 
<laughs> I'm the replacement. Okay. Right. Yeah. So we, I'm in the character. You, Go ahead. You're still Nate. telling me about the time. And okay. He's going to just kind of. Okay. Interrupt. So we're in TV now. We're in film. We're, we're not in stage. Yeah, we're in stage. I mean, we're in film. We're okay. in film. Okay. That means you're in yeah, film. But yeah. okay, all right. Well, I'm gonna still be my character. But be who you are. I'm be who I am. What? What? I'm gonna be. Oh. I would rather be. Then you're a comedian too, so yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm the new dude. Let's. Oh, start. I didn't know you were coming. Oh, you knew I was coming. I wouldn't. Who is this? <laughs> That's Mike. Mike. Oh, Mike. 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 Why are you concerned about oh. who I am? Look. That's my lady. Right. Who are you talking oh. about? Right. Your lady. First of all, your check lady. yourself. Check myself, Check brother. Baby, uh, we're having a conversation, and you just come up in here. And you... Look, You're going to leave me for him? Baby. What, what does he have that I don't Let want? me explain something to you, baby. All right, man. What, 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 whatever, what, are you, what are you talking about? Whatever you and Drea had is over. All right? What's happening here and now yeah. is me and her. You know what? So what you probably going to need to do what you probably is redirect do is yourself, you Ray, Ray. To Leave, Ray Ray. Deal with your situation with her after I'm done, after leave, we finish leave, talking. Leave now. Just leave, please. I'm trying to give you if a I pass, leave, I'm not Ray Ray. Back. Don't come back, Ray Ray. All right. All right. We appreciate that, man. Good luck. Oh, I don't need that. <laughs> 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 Oh, that's so, fun. We need to do that more often. Let's work he, on you that. You know, he really, you know, Mike. Let's work on that. Michael is an I wanted actor. to go gutter, though. Let me, no, I want, let me tell I, you. I want to be Ray Ray. Mike. <laughs> so when she says, I'm tired, <laughs> yeah, we'll get some sleep. <laughs> See, Take something. Crazy. Take some Anvil PM at night. You ain't tired when you asked me for that money for that purse last week. You, yeah, you ain't tired of the, the purse. Was nice and give me you tired of the purse and then say goodbye. Okay. You tired of the cars, the purses. Oh, <laughs> you're, 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 you're not gonna funny. like him if he gets angry. <laughs> That's the Incredible Hulk movie. You're not gonna like it when I'm angry. Not like that. But anyway, so we really uh, appreciate the work you're doing, and you have a lot of work. So, do you have that trailer? Can we watch that trailer of Ruby yeah, um, that you have? I want the viewers to watch this uh, trailer of the movie Ruby that you do have. And it's for sale. You have it on Amazon now? Or where's it at? So actually, I kind of pulled Ruby back temporarily because I just, um, so we had, you know, I've won awards to different festivals. I won one in, in California. Okay. And what came with that is worldwide distribution. Wow. Right? So they're in the process of putting out at all the platforms. Wow! All of the platforms. That's Isn't the that Walmart. amazing? You're gonna be watching it on your on your. Won't do it. <laughs> so, yes. So I'm gonna. Worldwide take this, I'm well, gonna, I have DVDs. Well, we have a copy yeah. of Ruby. Uh -huh. All right. So you have a special copy. And you copy. We yes. have a special copy of Ruby. Presents. And it's up. Uh, he won some festivals and one in California. And so it's up for worldwide distribution now. So we're going to watch the trailer. Mm. People say congratulations. Thank you. Um, and, and, and trust me, if you're in the area, if you're not in the area and you have projects and films that you're interested in and you need someone to direct it and help you uh, get it to the next level, mm. stop being afraid. Sometimes we get so, it's me, mine, I. Those are the three people that keep you in trouble. Could me, you myself, right. and I. Could it's you not about you. It's a we thing. There's no I in team. It's a we thing, okay? And I realized that from you said something that was so pivotal in uh, uh, in, in the film industry. The first two films I did were great films. Um, however, they're winning awards, but they're not to my liking. Correct, 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 correct. And so I want to redo some things, and I'm going to actually probably sit on your sofa like a client. <laughs> well, you sometimes know. sometimes we can be our biggest critic. Yes, our own we biggest are. critic. We can. We are. And, you know, I try not to chew myself up about it. was the last it, you know what I mean? email with a Vimeo so, so here's, link. Here's what happens. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, we filmmakers. Right? right, we will support one another. We will go. We will go to each other's event, mm -hmm. and we will sit there and we will watch it. Unlike the average person, we see in technical stuff. We're looking at the entertainment, but we see in technical stuff. Mm -hmm. And the minute some of us, <laughs> some of us, I'm not saying everybody, see something that they don't like, and, it, and then they think that they have something that's going to be bigger, they're going to point it out. Yeah, that's what happened to me. Right. But I had to let somebody know everybody had a first. Exactly. 
And Let's sometimes go. we forget the first. You forget your first too, kiss, you know. your first this, your first that. Everybody had a first. Yeah. And and it may not have been the experience that you want, but you what you don't need is someone to beat you down. You need people to encourage you and say, you know what, I saw this and maybe we could do that and right, that right, and right, that. Right. So I also got to give kudos to Ash Brown because he took my movie and someone from the festival loved it. They watched mm -hmm. it on mute and was able to follow it. But they saw the glitches, and they wanted me to resubmit it with the changes. And I had to give it to Ash Brown, who stayed up all night long trying to fix the audio for that short film for me. And he didn't charge me a dime because he believed in what wow. I do. Wow. So I shout out to him. Here's something that I've been pushing on my show. And I've had, I've had a panel of just actors to talk about acting and filmmakers. I got every filmmaker I can think of in the area on the show, on my show. To talk about some stuff, you know, we always say we want to push the DMV to the next level. Well, we have talent, we have resources. Plenty of we talent. We all have resources of one way or the other, right. and that resource can come in the form of a person, a connection. Mm -hmm. Don't have to be money. Definitely, that's right. You, know, you have you have Definitely. specific talents like okay, I'm great at audio, or I'm great at I'm great at cinematography. Yes. Right. Collaborate. 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 Which means but you I don't bring understand your the trans barrel mentality that we all well, have. Well, let me let me tell you something. Let me add Come something. Come on, don't forget to call y'all. We, we want the money. 427 7263. And if you call want to now. speak to our guests, too, we, 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 please call in. We're, we're not a biased caller. That's why the number is on the screen, so you can call our guests. <laughs> there our is guests. something to be said about learning your process from the ground up. Right. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it, it, it teaches the respect, but it also teaches you the, the 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 discipline. I used to like to say to guys out in the street, the discipline that it that? takes. I want to talk about that. Let's go ahead. I want to talk about that because that's see, real. Um, <laughs> what what I see, and I talk to some folks, and I don't talk directly because I don't want them to think I'm talking about them. Right. Is but they may take it that way anyway. And they may, and I, you know, it is what it is. But there is some folks that went before us to mm -hmm. lay the foundation, right? You respect that. You don't come into the industry and say, hey, I'm here. And yeah. This is my project, and, and I'm doing this. And right. What you did was, it was kind of nice. What? Hold on. We got a caller. We got a caller. Okay. Caller, we can hear you. What is your, oh, is this Deja? Hello? Yes. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. Okay. Hey. So, your caller. Number two. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> But if you want to speak to our guests, you can. But you can call back five times. <laughs> and, and you can win this money. It doesn't matter. I mean, you know, if any, doesn't, nobody calls. You're still yeah, a win because, I mean, send me 50 <clears throat> for my nails. Okay. <laughs> Andre's politicking for a nail. So call back. You will call it number two. Thank you. Questions and comments and, uh, for our guest, 202-427-7263. Did you see that, uh, uh, that link? It's on the last one. It's a Vimeo link on there. Mm. Okay. Uh, just click it on. Yeah. On the email. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can show it. Hello? <laughs> Johnny, really? trying to break up with me? Break up? Listen, James, keep your voice down. There's no need to get upset and cause a scene. People are starting to stare. Hey. What are you doing? Who, who um, is this? Um, I don't know, man. Man, what do you, you keep doing this to
Wow. We have a caller. We have a caller. Let's, caller. Oh, no. This is this looks like a telemarketer. <laughs> Should I answer it? Hey, let's see what they want. Probably Hello? a bill collector. Hello? Hello? Hi. Hello. Okay. Hi. Oh, my God. You're so beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, wow. Is, who's that, Maria? <laughs> yes, Maria. Hi. <laughs> I finally got to get in. I always watch y'all, but I, ne I can never get in. Where are you calling oh. from, Maria? I'm um, Fort Worth, Dallas. Wow. Very thing big. What do you, what do you, do you want to say something to our guests? <laughs> well, hi, everybody. Good morning. Good um, morning. I'm just, I just barely logged in because I was running late, but I'm trying to catch up to everything that y'all saying, but so far, so good. Thank you, Precious. Thank you, thank you, thank we appreciate you. you. You know, I thank you so much for following us and yeah. being a big support. You know, we we appreciate you. Every time I look up, you're right there, and I appreciate you, too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. You're always so beautiful, and I love the show. <laughs> so, you know, when I can, I try to log in. But congratulations, everybody. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you so you. much. Thank you. thank you so much. Dad, and you thank call you. her number three. <laughs> you could have been calling number seven, any, girl, but you call her number three. Any questions for our guests? Yes, ma'am. God bless. God bless you. Okay. Bye-bye. Right. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Ruby, I like that. Now, the guy, who was the guy? His, who, Keith Scott? Keith Scott. W. Keith Scott. W. Keith Scott. I liked him. He was very believable. Yeah, we um, we've been working together since I've been in doing my own productions. I yeah. liked him yeah. a lot. Um, he was very, very believable. Very, How did you feel about him? Uh, my question is, <clears throat> I felt good about him. But my question is, are you like the typical director who gets your like Spike Lee had Denzel? Yeah. Remember that yeah. Spike Lee had Wesley Snipes. He had a he had a handful of male black actors that he used in a lot of his films too, and he got real comfortable with them. Are you that same way? Nope. No. Okay. Nope. nope. I have some that who are loyal and dedicated to the mission. Right. And I uh, and I like I keep Scott. I tell him mm -hmm. the guy's a great, and he's my co-host on the show. Okay, right? I saw him. But I also like the scene where he's crying when he's dealing with the when he's uh, too freaking hard headed to listen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we were in the young lady that was um, doing the tampering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, so um, like I told, told Keith, I said, uh, um, everybody see what you do, right? And he's a great actor. But sometimes in that, like I was saying earlier, you get comfortable with mm -hmm. going here and impressing people mm -hmm. and you know, being believable. Mm -hmm. So at that scene, we have to take it to another step. Okay. Right? He didn't finish until... I got what I wanted. Wow. Right. You know, right. I did a, a short film. It's actually, um, I think you probably saw it backwards. And I lost a lot of time in it because I wasn't able to get what I wanted. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, what, what had happened was I swapped roles. I mm. went to the director and gave, gave my role to someone else. And it went like that. And mm. I should have actually stayed in the role. Yeah. Although I'm happy about the outcome, I just lost so much because I wanted more yeah and i wasn't yeah. able to get it so i learned from that although we've won a lot of awards i'm learning um and and, and listening to you i understand the whole dynamics mm -hmm. and the concepts of it and so when you have to push people another thing too is you can't you have to stay on task and you have to stay on time yeah. you have to maximize the time correct, correct. Right. so what would you say to an aspiring director um who desires to be where you are what would what steps would you give them Keep growing, keep learning. Um, don't be afraid to take a chance. Because um, a lot of folks, they get they do what's comfortable. Uh, they'll say, okay, well, I'll be there one day. And I'm not saying I'm, I've arrived, because I, I still keep growing and keep learning. But I push myself past where I am. I don't right. see myself here. I try to see myself there, and I'll be there. right? Mm -hmm. But it's a process, and I keep going through. And to your question as far as working with the same people, right. I will work with the same people. To an extent, but mm -hmm. I want other people to come up also. Right. Right. So okay. that's what the television show is all about—to promote 
what we're doing mm-hmm. and to educate our audience on what it is we right. do. Wow. Oh, speaking of which, your television show, <laughs> tell us, give us, before we even leave here, give us your, lo- your information where people can reach you. Um, they want to follow you. They want to be, you know, even opportunity to be on your show or even watch your show. Where can they find you? All right. So the website is um, Kazar. It's simple. <laughs> Kazar's TV show dot com. I kept it real simple for that. And that's K A Z A A R. No, Z A R R. Yes. Z A R R. That's a strong name, brother. <laughs> that's a strong name. I'm proud of Kazar. 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 You know, come on, man. If, if Kazar I, in the house. If you told me Kazar, Kazar was in the dark in the alley. I probably would what? not go down the alley. Don't go Kazar. down there. Kazar. <laughs> yeah, Kazar's in there. You ought to get a cartoon K- character. Say, yeah. Kazar. And I know an animation. I know a bad animation dude there. All right. Yes, then. indeed. Kazar Connect. Come on down. Yes, indeed. Yes, All right. Indeed. So, so Kazar TV. Um, we're definitely going to be following you and, and, and watching you and definitely partnership. Um, I believe as a, a director myself, a young film director, yeah. um, I have a lot to learn. And I'm always in New York, in mm. Atlanta, and in Chicago, and, and the reason being is because I haven't found um, anyone that I really can connect with here in the city. Hmm. And the word of God always says, prophets are without honor in his own hometown. And sometimes I don't consider myself a prophet, but I don't, I don't understand why sometimes we have to keep going outside to get what's already on the inside. Well, uh, stop. We don't question God's no, design, but I appreciate, d- divine I, process. Let me just say this. Just I appreciate everyone that um, so into my life in all correct, those correct, areas correct, right. because I am in a whole new different mindset. Uh, and it taught me what to bring back here. And I, I desire the same thing here. <laughs> the reason so, that you yeah. have to go out sometimes is <laughs> I tried to get on it earlier. Um, folks are so wrapped up into trying to be a uh, big guy, head person in charge. And we all got to eat. We all got to, we have the same, uh, that's for Trey the most Chaney. part, the same agenda. Speaking of, that's Trey right. Cheney calling my foul. Hey, <laughs> take, take that brother. That brother doing some great things. Right. Right. Uh, Put Mr. Cheney on. Yeah. Trey Cheney, I'm seen on, since your birthday. I am on the radio show. They say they ain't seen you since your birthday. We got four minutes before we get off the show. Can I call four you? Four minutes, Pooh. I wanted to just say. Oh, okay. Walking, I wanted to say you are walking in your purpose. That's right. Oh. Hey. 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 And I love what you are doing. Mm. Uh. We finished. We, go, we, we about go. wrapping it up, Pooh. We always, we get ready to get off. I got you on speaker. <laughs> he made me going to you, too. Yeah, yeah. Don't just stop me crying, man. I don't like that. You can have me crying all on the, <laughs> yeah, all man. in front of everybody. I'm going to cry, too. We're going to all weep today. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Yeah. You're walking in your purpose right yes. now, man. And I, I told you that years ago. And now you, you want it. Yep. You know Thank what I'm you. saying? I don't know what to say. <laughs> Thank you. You know, people, you, we were behind. That's real love. We were backstage. Trey said, you don't do film and TV? I was like, no. He said, you don't act? I said, only when somebody don't show up. He said, Andre, <laughs> you really need to pursue a career. And they're right, like, you correct. serious? And I did right. it. And mm-hmm. this is where I am. Mm-hmm. He pushed me backstage and said, you need to do this. So you know I love you and I owe a lot of it to you. Yeah. Because you told me to do it. I love you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so you be here next week. You have to be on the platform. I uh oh. Yes. <laughs> Love you. Peace. <laughs> All right, bye bye. That's a hard working brother. It's Trey Poo Cheney from The Wire. If y'all don't that know it presently. Trey Poo Cheney from The Wire and Saints and Sinners. And Saints and Sinners. He yeah. plays Clifton uh, Powell and Vanessa Bell uh, Calloway's son. And let me just say this, I love all of them. Uh, I, I, I've just had a great time. When I went to Atlanta, they had their season pa- uh, premiere party, and I party like a rock star with all of them. All right, all right, okay. all right. Uh, but anyway, we have two minutes. What would you say to someone who's really um, not even a director, not even an actor, just a word of encouragement for those people who are watching? <laughs> 
That's pretty broad. I, I would say, um, and I talk, I, I tell it to myself first, um, figure out what you enjoy, what you can easily do without, that takes very, very little effort and do it to the maximum. You don't know when you're, when you're, there's only two days that we can't control our birth and our death. That's right. And in between, you have to do what you need to do to be what you want to be. Wow. Keep them in there. Wow. And keep going. Shout out to everybody. Uh, Maria says, don't be afraid to step out of your comfort zone. Oh, yeah. You never know how good you are at something until you try. Hold on. This is a caller. We're going to take this next caller and they win the money. Cause it's like, okay, because we got right. one minute. Thank you, Trey. Hello, Hello, caller. Okay, this is the same caller. Deja? Deja, yes. All Girl, right, all right. Deja, you you got are. The money, okay. You got the money. You got not the money. Number we, seven. Go. we ain't call. We don't even care because we ain't. We got to wrap it up. That's right. You know. Um. But we have to get up out of here. We yeah. thank you so much, Kazar. And I want to just give a shout out to everybody who does support us in our journey. Thank you so very you know, much. And and we, we we're not here to bash or anything yep. anyone. Yep. We're Absolutely here to collaborate not. and make things happen and Join celebrate. Us. We don't hate. We celebrate. Absolutely. All Join right? us. So until next time, keep giving. Keep living, but most of all, keep, keep loving. loving. Keep loving. All right, we're out of here. Oh,